Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel, Fridays with Brandon. And today, this is going to be episode number, I think, 128 of Fluke Fridays. We're going to go over is a question from a viewer. A viewer said, can you go over the difference between the 376 and the 381? I'm going to go over today the 376 FC because the 376 is obsolete at this point, at least in the U.S., and so we're going to see the differences between these two and might, why you might want to go to one or the other. Now, these are not the only two flagship industrial clamp meters out there. There's also the 377 and the 378. And I have other videos that kind of talk through those. So you're welcome to look at the playlist um, for that or search for it on the YouTube search. But you can only do that in a browser. So you still can't search a specific channel on your phone. But if you go to a browser window on your desktop, you can actually go to my channel, search, type in 378, and all the videos that have those clamp meters featured will show up. So if you want to see other videos on clamp meters other than this, there's a whole playlist and there's a bunch of other ones out there. So, but today we're going to go over these two and kind of the differences and why customers choose one or the other. So let's jump into it. Okay, I thought we would start with what the similarities are between these two. So both of these clamp meters, the 376 FC and the 381, what are they going to come with? They're going to come with a case. They're going to come with a set of test leads. And they're also going to come with this iFlex. Uh, I think this is the i2500. Yeah, i2500 18-inch. The, the 18 stands for how long this red cord is for the CT. Why would you use this CT? Well, you can wrap it around a conductor or multiple conductors on a single phase, and you can get your AC current this way, okay? Up to 2,500 amps. So both of these, the jaws, will only go up to 1,000 amps, but with the uh, CT accessory that comes with it, you'll get up to 2,500 amps AC only with the CT. We'll talk about the jaws that you can measure both AC and DC in a second. Okay. Other similarities. We've got our jacks on the bottom. Same category rating. So you can see Cat 3 1000, Cat 4 600. Same here. Cat 3 1000, Cat 4 600. So same category rating safety wise. Um, and much of the features the same. We will go over the features and see what's different. But you can see with both of them, you can do AC voltage, DC voltage, both resistance and continuity. You can do AC current, both with the jaws and with the CT that comes with it. Or actually, I should get to that in a second. So with the jaws on this feature, on that function, and then hertz or frequency with the jaws as well, then you get DC current and... Yeah, the zero button is over here, so you can zero it out in either function or either meter. And then the iFlex that comes with it and frequency for that. AC current up to 2,500 amps there. Now, what are differences? If you look at this um, around the, the circle, you can see a couple differences. So you get millivolts with the 376 FC. So a little more precision there. You also get capacitance. So if you want to measure capacitors, you cannot do that with the 381. Um, and I think that's it. So those are feature-wise, um, measurement-wise, what are going to be different. Because you can do both AC and DC current with the jaws up to 1,000 amps. Okay. And I think that that's going to be the biggest differences in the features. Now, the form factor is different as well. So if you want to be in two places at once and view your readings on here wirelessly, different from the clamp meter, you can do that with both of these. The 376 FC requires a smartphone, and I've got some videos on that, how you connect to your smartphone and get, you know, see this reading on a smartphone at a distance via Bluetooth, okay? So you can do that but it's not a self-contained unit. You're going to have to use a smartphone with this one. This one, however, is self-contained. This, um, you, you pull these down and pull it out to the side, 
pull it off, and now you can take this and be remote. Again, via a Bluetooth signal, you can then take this, Go. it's got magnets on the back of it, so you can stick it to a panel or whatever, and then have this in a different location and be reading it in two different places. Or if you're, you know, working on your car, you can have this in the back of your car or on a um, trailer or something, trailer lights, and see it at a distance. You know, that is the biggest difference, I would say, is the form factor and then capacitance, right? If you need capacitance, which that could disqualify a few people. Um, yeah, but it's amazing. You know, this is, this 381 is kind of Fluke's first venture into the wireless technology. The first one ever was the 233 multimeter and then quickly followed by the 381 self-contained units with removable displays. And then the next generation of wireless meters was the FC versions. So the FC versions have more capability all the way around. Um, another feature that is different as I'm talking about more capability is the FC has internal memory. So you can actually log over time and then download that to your phone. Whereas the 381, no logging capability. And although this is older technology, and a very expensive clamp meter. Fluke has some die-hard followers for this 381. They continue to sell. You can these actually cost quite a bit more than the 376 FC, but customers just like this form factor because they don't have to deal with a their smartphone and it's with them all the time. They can quickly detach the um, face and bring it back. That is the biggest feature. Like, why would somebody buy the 381? In my opinion, the main reason, or maybe the only reason, would be because you want a removable face, you don't want to mess with your smartphone, and be in two places at once. If you're okay using your smartphone, I would really suggest you look at the 376 or any of the 370, or the 370 FC family, because you're going to get that remote display, and then other features as well. The newer 376 FCs, you know, that are current models out on the market, also come with the ability to add a magnet pack to it so the t-pack and that is really nice because you can hang the whole meter next to you when you're working whereas this one has no attachment for a magnet pack now you'll see there's a couple spots here what are those from this used to be a a point of purchase display inside a storefront um, it's just an old demo so that's why those holes are there but those don't if you buy one, you won't get, get those holes. Those are an extra free feature you get when you pick up old demos. So I hope this is helpful. That's kind of everything I can come up with. It's the difference between these. I'm sure there are other differences. If you know of a difference that I left out, leave it in the comments below so other viewers can see it. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend and we'll talk with you next week. Take care.